Saint Row is great. Okay, fun. It's not great, but it's pretty good. Step on it. Taros aren't gonna stop us now. Okay, it's not so pretty good. It's it's decent. And the lower the review, the harder they hit. Now we're talking. Count me in. <sighs> okay, no, it's 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 pretty much a dumpster fire. <laughs> but in this review, I'm gonna go into detail why I thought it was an absolute disaster, but I still thought it was pretty, pretty fun. But all while thinking, in my head, everything is fine, everything is fine. <laughs> What's up guys, welcome to That Freaking Geek. And in today's video, I'll be talking about the Saints Row reboot. I'll be giving you a review on it, but you probably already knew that because you clicked on the thumbnail. You clicked on the title, so you know what you're getting into. However, I just want to straight up by say that this game is not very good. It's got an uninspired open world. The story itself is hella cringy, and the gameplay, it is... Hey, hey, what? What? Could you give us this game? We're supposed to be, like, hopping it up and giving all the like, positive reviews and stuff. Oh, well, uh, yeah, well, you think that's what they want us to do, but that's a myth, guys. Like, journalists, they don't get told they have to say a certain thing. Nope. Just like Kudu, they're like, hey, we want you to play the game. We want to hear your thoughts on the game. Like, they're very, very chilled, and they're, <laughs> they're not telling me to say any of what I'm saying in this video. Instead, they just want me to, you know, be open and honest about my thoughts. Uh, but that doesn't mean that I don't want to plug them, because they are fantastic, and they're a great place to go get all your gaming needs from from video games to merchandise to consoles they're a great place to go to go check them out you'll see the link in my bio you'll see the link in the description like guys like they're fantastic and yeah thank you so much kudu because without you guys this video would not be possible so thanks so much uh, but yeah guys let's get into my review starting off with the story in the beginning of the game you start as playing as the boss as the roommate as the unnamed protagonist you're probably used to, to this in games by now and you get to start off by making your own character which i think the character customization is actually pretty good i mean there's some bugs that kind of made me stop from actually you know continuing my customization but nevertheless i think it's pretty in depth like i've seen some people come up with some really wacky characters and then some characters that look very much how they look like in real life which i thought was pretty good for me personally i kind of just make my character look like a better version of me that's so that, that's my fantasy anyway and uh, basically you start off and you and your roommates are basically sick of the way the city's running like these gangs are running amok and you have to work for them is the only really real way to make money in the city and so you get sick of it you're like cool like I want like nothing to do with them and we're gonna start our own gang uh, but the problem with it is that these characters themselves are not the best characters they're kind of caricatures what that basically means is they're gonna over exaggeration of themselves and so you get the lovable goofball who's a dj you get the lady who's a badass but she like loves cars and then you get the nerd who's like the fantasy dress up person but you need him because you know he's smart and he helps the business run like these characters are very very surface level very shallow and any of the missions you go on none of them kind of flesh out the characters even more like it's very basic and i didn't like it and all the dialogue in the game is pretty poorly written it kind of feels like this is a sitcom with writers who are completely out of touch i mean even in the missions there's never moments where they make bold story choices to kind of put characters in different situations that allow them their characters to grow instead they're pretty lame and talking about the missions they're kind of what their main goals are basically it's to you know build your criminal empire or taking out the other gangs uh, so that your empire can actually grow and within that they're all very much similar like to to kind of revert back to other games to compare it to other games uh you kind of find yourself that these feel like side quests to the better games and so it usually just ends up you kind of meeting at your hq going through to um the place you need to go to shooting it up and then leaving and then maybe having to like be a car chase and shoot more like that's very much copy and paste most of it with different locations it's not very in-depth it's not great at all and so on top of all that like the way that the game ends it's kind of a good representation of the whole game because it's just disappointingly average and that in itself is this 
The game has really exciting kind of cool cutscenes, but you never put into those cool cutscenes. Instead, you just watch them and then shoot. You watch more cutscenes and then shoot some more. Like you're never kind of given some variety to your gameplay. It's just like, hey, what is next for the like up so that you can shoot some more? That's pretty much it. But the thing in within this is that like where are you shooting? Like how are you shooting? Like let's get into the gameplay. The shooting in this game feels outdated and the aim assist mostly helped me along the way so that it felt very easy and very simple. Um, however, I thought that the, sh the guns, how they felt like shooting people, like I thought it was satisfying enough. And uh, as the game kind of continues, like yeah, it's monotonous and a bit repetitive. But what keeps it interesting is that there's a few abilities thrown in to make keep things interesting, uh, such as a uh, ability that allows you to stick a grenade on a person and eat them to other enemies and they explode like a balloon full of blood and guts. It's quite cool and quite fun. But outside of that and maybe a powerful punch that flings your enemies to the other side of the map, nothing out of like the ordinary is kind of in the gameplay and all its abilities and that's kind of strange given this is a Saints Row game. Usually with Saints Row games you have these over sexualized weapons and these like toilet humor kind of jokes to the weapons like not a single dildo was in the game. Can I, can I say dildo on YouTube? I don't, I don't know but you don't have any of that in the game which I thought was quite interesting but personally I'm okay with it not being around because I'm not like the childish humor wasn't my favorite and so I quite like this more down to earth if you could say kind of op like kind of opportunity in the game like it's okay but it's it's just not the wackiness we're used to in a Sancho game but in its place instead of the wackiness you get these things called takedowns which kind of brings a bit of humor into the gameplay and the animations that are kind of played out I find them quite enjoyable and look after you know 10 12 hours like the takedowns become quite repetitive with the animations but I thought they were interesting enough and I have heard some people who have literally said that the NPC and your character like don't link up and so leads to this hilarious bug of just the, your NPC just randomly doing these moves to like thin air and then the character next to you just dropping dead and so that's quite interesting but I never had any of those issues and another thing that people were complaining about that I thought was quite interesting was the driving while well, the driving is does feel very like stiff and it's not the best driving in a video game I've ever felt. I thought it was good enough and the drifting was easy to use and it made me feel like a badass when I was drifting and so for me who's not very good at driving I was, I was happy I was satisfied I thought it was good enough and so I thought it was pretty good but uh, on to the next part about what you're actually driving to what are you driving around what does the world feel like is it any good? Santa Luso is the city that you put into in this game and basically it is a lifeless Las Vegas. However, if you get the sun at the right time, you get the angle just right, you get the landscape looking just right, you get the game looking pretty pretty at times but that's pretty much it. Like the rest of the game art is pretty disappointing with the architecture and the buildings that don't look really good and especially compared to games that have come out in the last few years like this city, this whole game world is pretty disappointing. And in other games, literally, I cannot stop myself from wanting to take pictures. In this one, I took a few and got over it straight away. Like, there's just nothing compared to the games that have come out in recent years. So in this game world that's basically just desert and city, like, what are the side quests like? What are the side hustles, as they call in the game? And they're pretty repetitive. Like, there are some opportunities where you can kind of fly a helicopter to steal something, or you can kind of uh, build your empire by doing different ventures. And what that basically means is that you build up a empty lot, you pay for it, and then that gives you kind of missions. And those missions are pretty much the same like all the way through. And so take for example the one you, you buy a garage and the owner of the garage is like, listen, like I'll do X, Y, and Z for you if you steal these cars. So you go around stealing different like variety of cars and they always start the same. You arrive, steal the car, they chase after you and you take the car back and that's it. The other one, you start a restaurant business, a, a fast food restaurant business, and to take out the competition, you steal food trucks. Same thing, arrive, steal the food truck, food trucks, get like shot at, arrive, and that's it. Like that, 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 that's every single one of the missions. You just rock up, shoot, steal, go back, shoot some more. Like <laughs> that's it. Like the side quests are very limited and very repetitive. Look, I'm actually a person who generally enjoys like repetitive missions in games like it like usually I can get quite into it but for this game I just I couldn't after two of those criminal ventures like I just got over it very quickly and uh, given like games like Red Dead, Red Dead Redemption 2 there you get these random encounters that were so interesting that really fleshed out the world 
or in GTA 5. Also, those like random encounters, those side quests that just made the world more interesting because the NPCs giving you these random missions just made it more interesting and so it made it more fun to play. But there's none of that. Unfortunately, Santa Lusso, like I said, is just a brainless Las Vegas, none of the vibrancy, none of the interesting parts. It's just desert and city and that's very disappointing. So in conclusion, unfortunately, I do not think this is a good game. This game is full of bugs and even if all the bugs were fixed, I don't think it's worth full price. And on top of all that, a lot of people hate this game and their hate is mostly justified. This isn't a good game at all. However, I still think there's some brainless fun to be had. If you want a GTA clone that has the shooting and the driving, like I think this Saints Row game can offer some of that to you. However, at the end of the day, I do want to say that there is some worth to me noting that every time when I went back into the game, I never really dreaded it. Like the core gameplay here, the core DNA of Saints Row is still in there deep in amongst the cuck, um, South African term for just bad, and in amongst this game, like there is just, there is something in there. And that's why I'm going to give it a 6 out of 10. Like I'm quite generous with, with my scores. Um, and so for me, I think that there's still some fun to be had and people worked hard in this game. And so I think there is still some you know, good to kind of like, kind of draw out some. And when it comes to my game reviews, I kind of look at uh, the kind of the glass half full in this situation. Um, is it good? Is it worth your money? Probably not. But hey, when a sale comes around or maybe it's free in a few years times, yeah, I probably then recommend it. But for now, just, yeah, not yet. But anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed my review. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe. It would be great to have you. If you have maybe follow me on Instagram, check it all out. Links in the description. You know where to go. Thanks so much. I'll see you on the next one. Cheers.